Hello everyone, welcome back to the adventures of Carrot the Ray. Alright, the party was about to go head on out and uh, deal with those ogres over in the Windspear Hills. But when Carrot thinks about it a little bit more, he realizes of that course. you know it would be a good companion to have to deal with ogres? Why, our good friend Mazzy Fenton. There's no reason not to bring her along. I mean, that just makes a whole bunch of sense. Honorable and forthright and kind and noble. I mean, why wouldn't you want to bring somebody like that along? And despite being three feet tall, she sure fights with the best I of them. I wouldn't dream of refusing. You have returned, I see. What is it that you need? I would be honored to have you join our party once again, Massey. In truth, since we last met, I have considered again raising up a party of my own, though it is a terrible bother. I shall come with you, then. Very good. Mazzy rejoins the team. All right, so we gotta make sure she's mm -hmm. in the proper position. Oh yes. Let's check our formation and see where they put her. Oh no, that's no good. All right, maybe up here, and then there, and then there. Maybe that'll do it. Let's try that. All right. How does that organize everyone? All right, that's good. All right, so she has the armor and the helmet that we left her with. All right, we had good stuff that we could give to her. We should give her a bludgeoning weapon. And a shield. She can have this shield. Let's see. Oh, she has a magical bludgeoning weapon we left her with. Two-handed weapon? Oh, the bow. Well, she can take that off for the time being. So she can have a fancy shield. And she can have a flame sword if we run into trolls or something like that. So now I think she's pretty much all set up. Yan is all set here with his projectiles. So is Yoshimo. Uh, I'm gonna have him on magical arrows. She here has got her sword. All set here. Minsk. All right, I think we're all good. Something all right. you need. Uh, I wanted to check healing potions. Five, five, none. Five, five, five. All right, we Ready need to get and just as I thought. healing potions for Mazzy. Onward, Otherwise, she could be in danger. We can't have that. Well, she's going to be in danger anyway. But it always helps to have extra healing potions for party members. Just in case the worst case happens. Okay. So the party is going to return to the Temple of Joaquin, the goddess of merchants who is currently missing. To the task at and the by ourselves. Some potions. Fair enough, my friend. Indeed. Services, please. All right. Uh, where were we looking for? Well, we already bought all the healing potions, didn't we? Those are no good. I guess we're just gonna have to get some elixirs of health. Yoink. All right, that's what you're getting, Mazzy. I thought we had extra potions we could probably give to her. Didn't we have extra potions? Like that make her strong? Like outlandishly so? Yeah, we could always just give her those. If we ever need to buff up her muscles dramatically and suddenly. Alright, that's good enough. As you will. Off we go, everyone. We've got ogres to beat up. Can't let those ogres get away with their shenanigans. Alright, fastest way out of town is this way. Of course! Alright, is everybody here? Okay, everybody's all here, let's go. To the Windspear Hills! Ogre. Peace, curse, your terror ends here. That is a pretty odd sentence to hear coming out of an ogre. Usually they can't even speak English. 
Garrett says, you're awfully eloquent for a beast of your size. We should talk a moment. I'm thinking back to the nice, eloquent ogres we met back in, in Innsvale. No more words. Your lies will taint this land no longer. Your crimes will trouble the people not a second more. Oh no. I don't think they want to reason with us. Yep, they're you coming at us. Minsk goes evil I go well, what can you do in the face of such blind hatred? Alright, Mazzy gets well. strong. I can Come dance on the head of a pin as fight. well. I wouldn't dream of refusing. It is done. Well, uh, summon up some fire elemental aid. And, uh. Yeah, let's get shooting. Yes, yes, the standard type of bad. Oh, you can all use your weapon, man. They're hurt. They appear to be heavily armored ogres. What the? Oh, it's a baby wyvern. You are no match for my skill. What goes on here? I've seen many a strange thing in my time. The events of the past few moments tops them all. Who are you that can change shape so readily? Why have you slain these beasts that become men? My name is Carrot the Ray. What do you imply, friend? What did you see? I wonder if I saw what I think I saw. You were all ogres fighting, yet deaths yielded human bodies. Now there are no monsters, only you and these slain knights. Uh... Your eyes are mistaken. Monsters I killed, not knights. Despite your manner, I have sympathy. You were tricked, and I doubt the priests of Helm will believe it. They will seek justice, and only your heads will suffice. Looks dire news indeed. What do you suggest that we do? I suggest that you take sanctuary, sanctuary with me until you can discover how this unfortunate event came to pass. We don't even know who this person is. So we're certainly not going to accept the charity of an absolute stranger. No, well, thanks, buddy, but I do not need your charity. Do as you wish, but understand, however, that the most noble order of the Radiant Heart will alert authorities in the region, and you will be arrested or killed. When you return, and I have no doubt that you will, you may find me at my cabin to the south. I am Garen Winspear, once lord of this region. Good luck. Here is saying, I am sure you have your reasons, Carrot. But be not quick to turn down an offer of sanctuary. I'm not eager to battle paladins without need. Yoshimo says, I hope you have another plan. I've seen the order at work when they get roused, and it is not a pretty sight. Just name what you want. Apparently these knights, these ogres that attacked us were actually knights. Jump on my sword while you can, evil! I won't be as gentle! Complete with armor and everything. Under the effect of an illusion spell of some kind. How is... Well, we know how that's possible, but why would anything... Servant awaits. ...do that? That's so strange. Hmm. I am yours to command. More... more, more. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is enormously strange. What do you mean? Vita! Morph! Well, we gotta heal everyone up before we do anything else. Vita! Morph! 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 Ready, and I would dream of it. More. 
Ah, that's another oh, thing. Yes. So let's... He said he was to the south. Either way, though, we should investigate this area very thoroughly. See what we're missing here. That's trouble, though. Based off of what he said, seems like the party has just got itself into a huge mess. And it doesn't seem like there's any apparent way to fix it. I mean, we defended ourselves on the pretenses that they were monsters that were attacking us. And yet, that does not seem to be what actually happened. But who or what would create such an illusion so that we would think we were fighting monsters when we were really fighting paladins? Hmm. Can we go whack something now? that he mentioned, Aaron Winspear. I suppose we could all go inside and talk to him. Why not? Maybe we'll be able to figure out what's going on around here. Ah, you have arrived. I thought you might. Best that you learn all you can of your situation before you go off getting killed. Well, your kindness is welcome. How did you come to, uh, come to happen by when you did? You are not the first to suffer because of falsehoods and trickery. I have undergone the same, although my trial was less bloody. I was once lord of this land and had many holds across the heart of Amun. Taken from me it was. It was almost overnight and I still bear the scars in my dreams. I am content now, having found solace in the quiet of the wood, but I will forevermore curse the name of Lord Jirden Furkraig. Wow. I know this name. It was he that bid me rid his land of its ogre menace. It is true to his style, organizing an elaborate plot to discredit a rival. I do not understand why he would target you, however. My case was obvious. He sought my land, so he discredited me. There were missing people only he could find, banditry only he could stop, solutions to problems I am sure he caused. Aye, that makes... I'll try the Yoshimo's voice. Aye, that makes sense. I have heard of his name mentioned in some less than reputable circles in the past. This Yirden seems to be a special case. In the end, my properties were raised in a single night. The people lost faith in me and my influence crumbled. Now it would seem he has targeted you. So he undermined your barony. But why would he come after me? I do not know. Perhaps you have slighted him in some way without even knowing. He seems quite single-minded in his purposes. What I do know is that he's not the worst of your worries. The most noble order of the Radiant Heart will seek your death if something is not done quickly. I have friends among the order. I will speak with him as quickly as possible. Perhaps I can persuade them to look on you with mercy. I can but try. Hmm. I thank you for this. You are most kind. It is not a problem. I have found peace where I am, but any enemy of Lord Yearden's is a friend of mine. Make my home yours until I return with good news. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and you Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! Being approached by a young woman named Ilta. You have brought happiness to my father again. It has been some time since he has been able to help anyone in need. Please, do not disappoint him. Well, he's been kind to me so far. I certainly would not wish him harm. I am glad. He is a trusting sort. That is why Lord Jirden Furkraig was able to usurp his lands. My father languages while Jirden lives the high life. You could do much to bolster my father's spirit. Bringing that Furkraig to task would help a lot. Please, if not for my father, then for yourself. And apparently the party stays the night. And they feel a lot better after resting. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Apparently a halfling saying, 
And Jum saying, Ah, run! Hide! There's trouble, I'm sure! Slow down, Jum. You'll alarm our guests. What is wrong? Bandits! I saw them coming! They tried not to be seen, but I saw them! Nearly here! Hide and run! I wonder what they're up to. We'd probably better go look. Good and good, because I'm not going any going near them myself, and there's no one else to protect the home. I'll go hide in the hills, I think. Now, Jum, I can help if need be. We also have our guests, so I doubt there will be trouble. A fine opportunity, and I'm sure he'll take care of everything. Uh-oh. These don't look like guests. There are many ways of dealing with such as you. Oh my gosh, he disappeared. Apparently, someone named Floth of Red Edge said, Red Edge saying, We have taken Garen's child. Now it is time for his bothersome friends to die. Can we not talk? Why have you stormed this peaceful home? To shatter the peace, to ruin your name, to torment that old fool Garen. Above all, we are to deliver a message. A message to you. A challenge is given. Your ruin continues with the devastation of Garen Winspear in your name. Away goes his child with under, from under your nose, and I wonder who shall bear the blame. Lord Fearcray watches with amusement as you die a public death again and again. So much more entertaining than simple killing. What have I done to offend him? What crime could be so great? That friend of yours wronged him in all that matters. The magnitude is irrelevant. Now you are destroyed and your reputation fails. Revenge against you is revenge against those that are safe in the arms of death. And they attack us. I am willing. Not I very am nice. She is willing. Your command. Not very nice at all. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. I go. You're right behind. So that shouldn't right. be too difficult. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to fight our way out of here. Something amazing. In Alvarine's name. In defense of virtue. 